and so the circuit shown here is uh, uh, for the wheat is is the wheat wheatstone bridge uh, so for uh, uh, okay uh, so uh, today uh, we are going to design and test wheatstone bridge basically wheatstone bridge is used to uh, measure uh, or unknown uh, resistance value so uh, here it is the wheatstone circuit uh, here it comprises of a dc power supply a dc power supply here uh, uh, here it is the uh, this is the circuit of uh, wheatstone bridge this is the circuit of wheatstone bridge for this uh, we are having a dc a dc power supply uh, and two fixed resistor one variable resistor and one unknown resistor so we are going to find the value of the unknown resistor using this circuit so basically there is an equation to find the uh, uh, unknown resistance value and here shown it, this is the equation r2 equal to r1 into r4 divided by r3 out of this r1 r3 are fixed resistors r2 is a variable resistor and rx is an unknown resistance so we are going to find the value of that unknown resistance using this circuit and in between between the point b and d we are connecting one multimeter to measure the voltage whenever the bridge is balanced uh, the output voltage that uh, voltage between b and d will be zero zero volts uh, instrument and components required to construct this wheatstone bridge one by one in the circuit shown there is one dc power supply and here it is the dc power supply and we can set dc voltage using this to ex uh, to give excited this is 10 kilo ohm resistor which is r1 in our circuit and this is variable resistor which is r2 in our circuit this is the unknown resistor where we don't know the value of this resistor we are going to find the value of this resistance using this circuit this is digital multimeter where we can measure voltage current resistance etc using this this is breadboard these are the these are called multimeter probes and we can uh, we have to uh, use these probes to measure uh, whatever uh, uh, we require to measure so here uh, these uh, holes are connected internally uh, there will be no connection between the adjacent uh, uh, holes uh, so if you want to connect uh, uh, two leads of uh, two resistors leads of two resistors what we will do is we will connect one resistor uh, one lead of resistor here and we'll connect the lead of another resistor here so, so that it will get connected uh, now we are going to construct the circuit as per the circuit diagram here i have taken the r1 which is 10 kilo ohm i am going to connect it in a place in the breadboard okay now i am going to take r2 oh sorry r3 which is 1 kilo ohm and I, uh, this r3 is connected to one lead of r1 so here let it be that lead and i am going to connect this r3 to that lead and connecting the other lead in a random hole the other end of the R3 is connected to one end of the unknown resistance and I have taken this unknown resistance and connecting it to uh, other end of that R3 I have connected and I am connecting this other end of the unknown resistance to a random hole in the breadboard and this another end of the unknown resistance is connected to a variable resistor and the other end of that variable resistor is connected to point D which is the uh, another lead of resistor R1. So I am taking this variable resistor and here are two leads. Uh, here uh, we are showing the uh, we, are, we have taken the variable resistor and here there are two leads for this variable resistor and we are going to connect one lead to one end of unknown resistance and the another lead is connected to the one lead a second lead of 
resistor R1. So we have connect, constructed the circuit as per the circuit diagram. Now we are going to give the excitation voltage using DC power supply and we will measure uh, voltage across point D, uh, B and D using multimeter. So far we have constructed the uh, circuit and now we are going to give excitation voltage using this DC power supply. We, we have to set uh, 10 volt uh, to excite this uh, circuit. So here there is a button voltage, you have to switch it on, switch it on first. There is a button called voltage, we have to press that and roll this knob to uh, change the set voltage. Now, now the set voltage is 10 and I am going to switch on, uh, enable, uh, enable the output. So now pressing this output on or off button will enable the output at these two terminals. This red one is positive and this black one is uh, ground. So here as per the circuit the positive of the DC power supply is connected to point A. So here uh, in, uh, in the circuit uh, this is the DC power supply. The positive end of the DC power supply is connected to point A which is where the resistors uh, lead of the resistors R1 and R3 getting connected. So what we are going to do is we have to connect the positive of the DC power supply that is red color knob of the DC power supply using a wire to point A. Likewise the ground of the DC power supply should be connected to point C. So in our circuit this point represents the node A in the circuit and this is the positive of the power supply and we are going to connect this power supply to that power node A and this is the negative of the power supply sorry power supply this is the negative of the power supply and this is point C in the circuit this is point C in the circuit and I am going to connect this a ground terminal to this node C and here there are two other nodes remaining which one is node B and another one is node D here is where we are going to measure the voltage whenever the bridge is balanced this the voltage across this B, uh, D and B will become zero so that we will we can come we can we, we, will, we will come to know that the bridge is bridge got balanced so we will now measure the voltage across B and D using digital multimeter. So uh, I am connecting uh, one end to one end of the multimeter probe to point B and another end to point D. Now we have we are going to adjust this potentiometer that is variable resistor to uh, and will make the uh, voltage across this point B and D to 0 volts. Now while adjusting this variable resistor the voltage across point B and D is getting coming down and we will go till it reaches 0 volts. Once it reaches 0 volts it, it means that the bridge got balanced. So now it reached 0 0.3, 4.9 millivolt and this is almost 0. So we have balanced with the bridge now. So now what we will do is we will measure the resistance of this variable resistor now and we will apply which is R2 and we will apply the uh, values, no, uh, values of the uh, resistor in the balance equation and we will find the value of this unknown resistance. So I am removing uh, put, uh, this variable resistor from the circuit to measure the resistance.
so here i am setting this to resistance mode and connecting so now we are measuring the res illa idu mudichittu idu measure panniittom adukapra mele so now we are measuring the resistance across this variable resistor which we adjusted to make the balance the bridge uh, and it is showing 4.56 kilo ohms so we ha we have found out that the value of variable resistor is 4.56 kilo ohm write the balanced bridge balanced equation if the bridge is balanced okay never there is if if the bridge is balanced we know that r4 by r3 equal to r2 by r1 here we have to measure the value of this r4 which is rx this is rx we don't know the value of this resistance so other other values we already know r1 is equal to 10 kilo ohm r2 as we measured in the from the variable resistor it is 4.56 kilo ohm and r3 we already know it is 1 kilo ohm and r4 equal to rx that is unknown resistor so for, we will apply uh, we will substitute all these r1 r2 r3 values in equation 1 and we will find the result so to make that r4 equal to rearrange in the equation r4 equal to r2 divided by r1 into r3 which means 4.56 kilo ohms divided by r1 is 10 kilo ohm into r3 is 1 kilo ohm finally we will get 456 ohms which is the value of r4 unknown resistance this is the practical value we are getting to compare the practical value uh, sorry practical value with the theoretical value we will measure the unknown resistance using multimeter so now we have find the value of r4 which is is 456 ohms this is the value which we get practically we will measure the value of this resistance using multimeter and we will compare the actual value of the resistor with the result which we get so for that we will measure using the multimeter so now we are uh, going to measure the resistance value using multimeter so now the multimeter is reading 0.461 kilo ohms so the measured value is 0.461 kilo ohms which is equal to 461 ohms which is approximately equal to the value which we arrived using our wheelstone bridge circuit so this is the experiment setup for design and testing of wheelstone bridge and finding the value of unknown resistors using the wheelstone bridge circuit